guys, what's up? I am home today and I've just done a bunch of laundry which I am now going to fold. Um, this is all Brandon's stuff. I always feel like we end up washing every piece of clothing he owns and then obviously having to fold it all. So I just figured I would chat a little bit while I am folding laundry. So it is March now and even in Los Angeles, March is a little cool. We're not back into shorts and t-shirts yet. It'll probably be another month or so before that becomes an everyday thing. Um, this is one of my favorite shirts of Brendan's. He loves dinosaurs, he loves going to museums, he just loves, you know, every, everything like this. This shirt is so him. <laughs> this shirt is an 18 month shirt and Brendan's three and a half. He still wears this around the house. The sleeves are sort of like this on him now, but uh, around the house it's no big deal. Especially if he's running around, he gets kind of hot and sweaty and it's okay to have a shirt that's uh, not quite as long as his shirts that really fit properly. We call these his Christmas pants. We actually bought them a couple years ago um, when we were back visiting my family in DC. They're red and they're comfy and so he started wearing them that Christmas. <laughs> uh, Captain Adorable It's a holdover from a long time ago and again another shirt that's a little too small for him. <laughs> we usually put him in something like this uh, after he gets out of the bath because he'll take a bath in the evening and it's like you know maybe two hours before he goes to bed and so we don't want to put him, put him in his pajamas yet because he still has to eat and we don't want his pajamas to get dirty um, but we don't want to use like a good shirt you know so something that's a little too small a little old functions just fine. Um, I really like this color scheme on him it's sort of like this one actually old one and the new one. Same color scheme. I swear when you have a kid though they grow up so fast. I remember when Brendan was a baby before he was a year old. It was the first clothes that he got that were one year old clothes and I just held him up and they just looked gigantic. I was like there's no way he's ever gonna be big enough to fit into something that's a, a one year old thing and here we've got a four year old size. Again still a little big on him. Doesn't fit him quite yet but uh yeah, so fast. This is his nice little sweater. He wore this for his school picture, and I actually only bought this because there was a sale, and I had to spend an extra like five bucks to get the percent off or whatever. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll just grab this. I grab this one more thing, but this is actually one of his nicest shirts. I get most of his clothes at Target. Target and Kohl's and Old Navy. There's a lot of stores out there that are like boutiques that have really cute kids clothes um, but they're pretty expensive for something that you know a kid's gonna outgrow in a year or six months or you know depending on, on how old they are so you know I just haven't ever really been able to reconcile spending a lot of money on you know a t-shirt like spending $40 on a t-shirt um, for Brendan when he's gonna outgrow it or get it stained have his clothes I think or <laughs> stained against chocolate or mud or Straw, you know, strawberries or blackberries or something all over it, and the shirt's ruined. And you know, it's, it's a $4.99 shirt at Target, no big deal. If it's a $40 T-shirt from you know a nice boutique, it's like <laughs> it's a little more painful. But yeah, another 24-month shirt. Again, this is a between bath and bed shirt. So this is a set of pajamas that we bought at the Disney store when our relatives were here from Japan a couple months ago, and uh, <laughs> they were on sale, and we just thought, you know, it's a good deal. It was a good deal for pajamas, even though they were really, really ugly. <laughs> These are like the ugliest pajamas we've ever seen. I'm not really sure what they were thinking of this. This shirt is very Brendan as well. It says explored. It's got space and stars on it. It glows in the dark. Um, Brendan loves space and planets and all of that stuff. He's very kind of scientifically minded, which is funny because neither Kevin or I are very scientifically minded. I'm especially not scientifically minded, but science was always my worst subject in school. But uh, yeah, Brendan just loves this kind of thing. This little jacket, which it's a 4T, he hasn't had this jacket this long, although it already has a hole in it. Ah! It's kind of a bummer, but it's under the hood, so you can't really see it unless he has the hood up. I guess I, I could just stitch it up, it would only take well, for a normal person, it would take one minute. For me, it would probably take half the afternoon because I'm a terrible sewer. I hate to sew and I'm also bad at it, so that's a pretty bad combination. PJs. I 
keep telling Kevin Brennan's getting too old for onesies, but, or you know, the, the uh, footy pajamas. But Kevin thinks they're really cute, so he keeps finding them online. He's like, look, here's four-year-old footy pajamas. I think, he, I think he's too old for them. But maybe not, I don't know, I could be wrong. I guess they still make them, so I guess some kids wear them. Here's, I was talking about one of those stained shirts, which I actually showed in the uh, uh, vlog the other day. I don't know what this is, I think it's mud maybe. And again, a perfectly nice shirt that's become just a wear around the house shirt because it's like permanently stained. Ah, attractive lime green shorts. <laughs> These are super old, they're small on him. Again, the between bath and bed shorts. <laughs> Okay, somehow a dirty shirt ended up in the clean laundry. It's not, a, it's not filthy dirty, but it's, uh, he's definitely worn it. Yeah, this doesn't smell like detergent. I think he might have just pulled this off and chucked it over on top of the clean laundry. I won't fold this one. Cool little dude. The shirt is definitely too small for him. The sleeves come up to about here. Gray comfy pants. He has his school pants and he has his comfy pants. We tend not to send them to school in like the cotton pants just because I feel like they just get dirtier. Um, I know there's a lot of like wood chips and things like that on the playground. I feel like these would stick to these more if he's, you know, tossing wood chips around. There's these little, little small wood chips. I think they would like cling to these pants, whereas like jeans and stuff, they obviously wouldn't. More footy pajamas. A little octopus this time. The footy pajamas are what Brendan always outgrows the fastest. Um, when he was a baby, um, he could still wear, you know, in any given size, he could still wear um, the shirts and the shorts and the pants and all that. But the um, footy pajamas, I think, because especially early on, he was a little on the tall side for his age. Um, so getting his feet and his toes into the, into the footy pajamas, um, you know, became more of a challenge faster than with the other clothing. I think at one point he was in like the 80th or 85th percentile for height. Um, I think he's a little more average now, but at one point he was definitely on the tall side. Comfy pants. These are pretty thick and we actually bought these right before our trip back to DC over Christmas because we definitely wanted him to have some comfy pants that would stand up to the DC winter, even if he didn't necessarily need them for the LA winter. He still wears them all the time though. Uh, another too small wear around the house shirt. Major cutie. This had a matching set of gray camo pants that we've since retired. He's outgrown those. This is another glow in the dark shirt. It's got sharks on it. Another one of his favorite things. And it says, See you later, dude. C S E A. <laughs> oh, this shirt we bought at Target a few weeks ago that we vlogged about. A crab. Forget, what does it say? Oh yeah, oh snap. He's a big fan of this shirt. He was very excited to wear this the first day back at school. I want to go show my teacher my crab shirt. A pair of comfy pants. These, he only wears these around the house. They've got a couple big, it's got a big hole in it and it's actually got another little hole in it. My mom had these wicker baskets, these long narrow wicker baskets that were made to hold magazines or something like that. And um, he was wearing these pants and he sat down. He was the perfect size to sit down with his feet out in the basket, but a piece of the wicker caught on the pants. So when he stood up, it ripped a little hole. And I was like, no, because we were there from out of town. So we only had a certain number of his you know, pants there with us and got a great big hole in it. But he still wears them around the house here. And we all laugh about the hole in his pants. He thinks it's very funny. This is one of his absolute favorite shirts. His bug shirt, which I think I showed in another vlog very briefly. It's all different little bugs. So he loves to like lay it out and sit there and look at all the bugs and name all the bugs. He's just a big fan. We go to the clothing section, he immediately just zeroes in on anything that has bugs or sharks. Another pair of comfy pants. And that's it. I swear I get housework done a lot faster when I'm vlogging because I'm trying to 
keep the pace up. Uh, if I were just here doing this without the camera on, I'd have the TV on and I'd keep stopping to watch TV and it would probably take twice as long. So this is actually a really good tool for just staying on track and getting stuff done. So I should do this every day. I would spend like, you know, a quarter of the time house cleaning or do, you know, doing housework that I would usually do. So great. Well, thanks for joining me during my laundry folding and uh, please like and subscribe.